Chris John from KJPop.com and today we are playing Paranautical Activity. This is on the PS4, it's also available for Xbox One and PC and the Vita as well. Um, but uh, yeah, we're playing the PS4 version here. I have dabbled with the Vita version, I'll dip in with my thoughts on that as we'll go, but this is... Uh, yeah, we're going to be checking out the, the PS4 version here. This is a first person rogue light sort of uh, very much in the vein of um oh what's your boy binding of isaac um get a lot of vibes with binding of isaac as, as we'll see as we go through the run here um mixed with a healthy bit of sort of doom quake and graphically i guess the sort of Minecraft voxel style, although that, that doesn't really work for it. Um, you start off the game with uh, four different characters here, um, which basically equates to <laughs> you have four different uh, weapons or types of weapons. Each character has a main weapon and then a super weapon, except for the deliciously named David Bowie here, who just has a, a crossbow, but we'll, we'll try him first. Um, so there you go, uh, you start and you're, there's a lift in between each four, so you've got to beat the boss on each section and then uh, go down the lift to the next thing. There's eight floors in the game in general, obviously all uh, procedurally randomly generated uh, kind of dungeons to crawl here. And uh, yeah, you go into each room and uh, enemies spawn in. You know, it's there. There was a little bit of a pause uh, when I first entered the room there. Ooh, no, it's not good. Yeah, good. That guy's gonna take out those guys for me. There's a little bit of pause when I entered the room here, and that's uh, that is sort of one indication or one sort of place where uh, paranormal activity is really sort of harmed um, by its low budget and by its technical shortcomings and uh, I'm also cracked at this game, this is like a polygon playing doom uh, kind of level of paranormal activity play here um, but yeah it, it's really kind of harmed by uh, its, its technical shortcomings um, and that's definitely the case when you go into each room and go into the boss floor here you probably die because I'm on low health. Uh, you know, on PS4 you get a momentary um, pause as you enter the room. Uh, on Vita, with the low RAM of the, of the Vita, you straight up, you walk in a room and it, it straight up stops and says loading for like two seconds and then the game continues. Uh, I'm going to die there because David Bowie is the, the worst character, uh, to be fair. Um, let's move on to Dynamics. He's got a grenade launcher and a sword, which is a, a nifty combo. The um, powered weapons you see down the bottom right, the, the, it's got ammo, so to speak. Your main weapon uh, has infinite ammo, uh, and this character starts off with $25 and 25 bombs, which is quite helpful. Um, but yeah, your super weapon has, has a kind of ammo that, that needs to be uh, recollected or recharged. Um, but you're kind of limited to just two, two weapons. Um, for whatever reason, as you might guess by the, the name Paranautical Activity, uh, all the enemies, for some bizarre reason, have a sub-aquatic theme. Um, so sharks chase after you, uh, even though you're running around a floor in a dungeon. It, it, it doesn't seem to make uh, an awful lot of sense. Um, this floor is quite small. This boss is pretty easy. He just uh, spawns a bunch of spiders on the floor. Uh, and I tell you what we're going to do is we're actually going to get in close to him. And hack, 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 hack. There we go. And then deal with these spiders. And then we're done, so I can move on to the next floor. So, like, this sword is massively overpowered, and that's why uh, there's a limited use on, on the super weapons. Um, just like in Binding of Isaac, when you beat a boss, and there are sub-bosses as well as main bosses, I can run around the rest of the floor and explore this, but I want to uh, sort of advance. Um, you get an item that you can choose to leave or take when I pick this up. And now I get floating bombs. So I can get shot up further, which is uh, pretty handy. 
uh, from my grenade launcher here. And I'm going to advance on. Um, yeah, it, I mean, it, the thing is with this is um, I enjoy, you know, as, as, as much as I might not think it at first, um, I dig this game quite a lot because, you know, I kind of like it. It's fast-paced game style. Um, sort of doom quakey shooting um, mixed in with the roguelike blend. I mean, there were things like Tower of Guns, which... Um, am I thinking of Tower of Guns? Or am I thinking of something else? Possibly thinking of Tower of Guns. Um, that have also done this thing, and perhaps better with more sort of vertiginous maps and whatnot. And I think that is the thing. Like, the, the rooms that you're in uh, are quite plain um, in Paranautical Activity. There's, it's not doing that much interesting with its maps. Um, but it is, I do sort of enjoy the frenetic shooting of it, um, I think that's quite a lot of fun, um, but it is just hindered, um, you know, I think mainly by its, its technicalness, maybe perhaps a lack of, um, invention or a lack of ambition with its level design, um, reduce the the damage, that's quite helpful, I suppose, you pick up hearts, more help. Um, but that room was a dead end, dead end. So let's move in. Um, yeah, it, it, it's just sort of ended with, uh, you know, sort of slight hiccups here and there, and the fact that it just looks, it just doesn't look appealing at all. I um, mean, it, it really doesn't. Um, let's face it, like, I think this, this visual style. Uh, really doesn't do the game any favors, um, especially when it's kind of okay with this gun um, because you're shooting grenades, and uh, I think the, the crossbow as well has a very immediate hint to it. Um, but just effects wise, it reminds me of uh, a lot of Gunscape, which had the same sort of voxel um, video, uh, uh, visual approach. Um, yeah, we're going to the shop here, so please. Nearby. Oh, got that, okay. Yeah, I think I've already got that. Uh, so let's get power of the gods, I suppose. So I got a random power up for that. Uh, and then advance to the main boss here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, you know, this stuff, we're going to see sort of pyrotechnics, but if I show the uh, shotgun class, which I'll get to in, in a second, um, that has uh, this real problem that the Gunscape had where it's not immensely clear that you're shooting a gun and, you know, it, 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 unless you're make, you, know, you hear it make the noise but, and you see damage register on enemies but it's not particularly clear where you're shooting and what you're hitting and that's like a, a real significant problem. Uh, I'll skip Gordon because he's shite. I'll show you the, the tank instead. Um, you see, it's just a kind of dull flash and that okay, there's there's not much feedback or F to uh, the shooting itself, which is um, a really big problem. And it's a massive problem on the beta, which is scaled down visually even from this. Um, the actual, I mean, the, the models and the maps and the things all look the same, but effects-wise, you don't get the sparks of the impact of, of the shotgun where, uh, you know, where your shotgun blast hit. So it really feels completely random. You, you pull the trigger, there's a very slight muted flash, and that's all you get. Um, and that really, really sucks. Um, because it, it, it really just sort of removes all feel from, from the actual shooting aspect, which is a shame, because I think, you know, just general structure-wise and pace-wise, and perhaps, I mean, you can uh, power up your movement rate and uh, the responsiveness on the sticks, but I think perhaps it could do with uh, the sort of quicker, twitchy mouse look of the, of the PC mode. Um, and some of the bosses as well, not amazing design-wise. Um, yeah, I have bombs. Uh, this guy has a cannonball, but it takes forever to charge up a cannonball shot. So they've got things through and steam all stuff. It's not, not very good. Um, wow. 
I mean, I haven't faced that boss before, but like most of the bosses, it is just, you know, hey, uh, circle, stri <laughs> circle straight, you know, um, kind of thing. Luckily spawned right next to the boss here. And again. Um, yeah, I mean, there is something innately fun and sort of exciting about running through these stages. Um, it just it perhaps needs a, a little bit more of a, a visual. And again, I spawn right next to the boss. This is either ridiculously lucky or ridiculously unlucky, uh, as the case may be. This guy is pretty easy, but it's just it's a matter of yeah, not moving quick enough. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Sorry, I died again. Um, but yeah, it, you get a bunch of unlocks. Um, if you beat the game, you get a hardcore mode and an infinite mode. Um, I've sort of gotten further with the Vita version on this, but uh, you know, it's like sort of trophy stuff. If you can beat trophy stuff, then you get uh, extra weapons, extra characters, things like that. Um, it's decent. Uh, it just, it really needs it. It's rare that you say, you know, I mean, graphics are not a great game make and it, it's not all about technical stuff, but it is the fact that technically it's so lacking um, that makes, you know, paranormal activity to kind of difficult to, to hardly recommend. But uh, yeah, I think it, it, you, it, it's one of those things where if you see it on sale, you could actually do a lot worse than this and it, it, it's better than, than it looks. Uh, it's just that, yeah, it could definitely look a lot better. Um, so that's Paranormal Activity on PS4. Chris Charles, Thanks for watching. Bye.